Welcome to another episode of Inc. TV in association with print journalism. I'm your host, Nilfur, and I'm here to give you this week's top news. The thought of performing in front of a crowd is a dream for many. With that said, the Student Union has set up a battle of the bands where musicians can showcase their talents in front of a live audience and four industry critics. To learn more about the last band standing, go to the Sheridan Sun online. Student representatives from the Canadian Federation of Students in Ontario received hate mail one week after launching their study on racism on Ontario campuses. The letter received last week had two newspaper cl clippings inside, along with a racist editorial cartoon originally printed in the New York Post and handwritten death threats and racial slurs. To learn more about this, go to pick up a copy of the Sheridan Sun. It was first processed and used by the First Nations and then adopted by European settlers. Maple syrup, a popular breakfast item, is often eaten with waffles and pancakes. Here's a video by second year print journalism student taking around a maple syrup fe festival at the Bradley Museum in Mississauga. Hi Sheridan, I'm your host Lauren Cruz and today we're in Mississauga at the Bradley Museum and we're going to take you guys around the Maple Syrup Festival. Maple Magic runs from March 14th to March 22nd. Tickets are $15.75 for your entire family. Hi Sheridan, so we're here with Richard Collins. And how are you helping out with this event? Uh, I'm one of the historical interpreters here at the Museums of Mississauga. Okay, and what would um, people coming to this event expect to see? They're going to get to see a lot, especially if the weather's warm. They get to see the sap dripping out of the trees, and we're going to boil the sap into syrup. Uh, there's wagon rides. There's free pan. Uh, well, not free pancakes. There are pancakes. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. They're free for me because I'm staff. Uh, and all sorts of activities. Tours of a 200-year-old house and crafts for kids. So there's lots of activities. And horse and wagon rides. Great. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Early syrup makers boiled sap in iron kettles hung from a cross pole supported by wooden crotches. Sap would be cooked for a time in the starter pot, then ladled into a second pot, and finally boiled down in a finishing pot inside the sap house. The maple syrup was then stored in bottles, jars, or cans. Maple syrup isn't the only thing the festival has to offer. They also have wood carving demonstrations, regular museum tours, and about all the hot dogs or hamburgers you can eat for a very low price. The festival runs weekdays 12 to 4 and weekends 10 to 4. Sheridan Inc. TV is encouraging you to turn off your lights on Saturday, March 28th at 8.30 p.m. in support of Earth Hour. Millions of Canadians will support this action and its message of hope. Everyone can make a difference. It's as simple as flicking off the switch. Want to bring out your inner photography skills? The Oakville Camera Club is giving you the opportunity to take part in a competition titled Capture Oakville. The competition is open to anyone interested in photography. So Sheridan, grab your camera and snap, snap, snap. To learn more about this competition, go to the Sheridan Sun online. This week's photo essay is by second year print journalism student Krista Saunders on abandonment. Check it out.
it for this week's Sheridan. Don't forget to pick up a copy of the Sheridan Sun located at the various stands throughout the school or visit us at the Sheridan Sun online. Thank you and see you next week.